Ben goes, hey, there's a Sprint store open. You can go there. No problem. I'll get you a Lyft. Ben used to drive Lyft, so he deals with Lyft. He does not deal with Uber. He deals with Lyft. Lyft is clearly the lesser of the two services, and they employ people who are both emotionally disturbed, you know, <laughs> mentally deficient. These people are – I don't know how anyone – who does Lyft has a license. I don't know how they got a license. When you get in a Lyft, you're not only you're taking your life in your hands. I mean, it's crazy. It's a real difference. It's not just a fucking hacky joke premise. Although there's a lot of people with those types of jokes. I, I forget. I, maybe it was Alyssa in Paris. I think somebody on Twitter was like, she had a great tweet about like you get in an Uber versus getting in a Lyft, you know, and you get or maybe she did a video about it and you get in the Lyft and it's fucking mayhem. So I'm like, OK, I'm going to go now and it, 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 I don't know how long it's going to take because if I have insurance, you know, hopefully I have it. I think I have insurance. I didn't have find my iPhone. I thought I did. But if the phone's off, it doesn't matter anyway. My phone was dead. So it didn't matter anyway. Um, and I, I get in the the lift with a MacBook and a guy pulls up ball guy. It's a lift. So it's a Chevy cruise. It's a small bright red Chevy cruise. If I had a Chevy cruise, boy, I would get it in a color that blended in. You know what I mean? Like I would not advertise my Chevy cruise with like a candy apple red. This is a cruise. It's not a Malibu. This is a cruise. The cruise is the smaller car. It's like a two door. It looks like a lot of these cars now look like somebody shit a car. It is the 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 literal aesthetic of the car. The shape is like it just plopped onto the street. And I get in the cruise and I have the MacBook because I said I'm going to have to call you back to order another one of these fuckers while I'm in Sprint. So I get in the Chevy Cruise with what I imagine is a lunatic. <laughs> we drive to the nearest Sprint store. He pulls me up to a corner and goes, "I, right, Papa. I, right, Papa. This is you. All right, Papa, this is you. Well, no, it wasn't me because there was no Sprint store. And I said, I'm looking for a Sprint store. He's like, yeah, no Sprint store, Papa. I said, well, well, then I'm going to stay in the car because I was going to the Sprint store. <laughs> so it, 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 as long as you're treating me, you're going to call me Papa, treat me like your father, and let's find the store. He goes, this is you, Papa. It says here, Sprint. I said, I don't see Sprint. He goes, yeah, I don't either. I don't either, Papa. <laughs> so I say to him, I roll the window down. I say to a guy, you know of any Sprint store in this area? You heard of one? Ever seen one? The guy goes, no. Keeps walking. I say to the driver, I say, what was happening? He goes, I don't know. So I'm like, maybe, like sometimes with a restaurant, it had been closed or it had been remodeled or whatever. But you had told me, Ben had said, I had spoke to the guy at the Sprint store. So I'm like, there is a store. Somebody answered the phone. So Ben says the address is three, whatever. I This guy allows me to call Ben. I call Ben. Ben says the address. This guy goes, oh, we're not at three. We're 291, Papa. I said, "I yeah, no good. He goes, Papa, maybe we should drive around and look for this print store. I said, well, that would be lovely. That would be very nice if we could find the thing that I want to go to. Can we do that? Because that is the point of the service. I know it was fun to drive with you. He had Fleetwood Mac on, which I appreciate. He did not look like he was a Fleetwood Mac fan. I don't like to make rush judgments, but I did not think he would be getting into Stevie Nicks. And I was, I said, well, that's nice. You know, um, we, we drive up and down the block, no sprint store. We then go, we pull in front of this big parking garage, and he goes, maybe the Sprint store is in there. 
And I go, oh, I don't know. But I don't think so. I don't see any signs that say sprint. So he goes, yeah, Papa, no good. He said, no, it is not good. I go, let me just have my friend Ben change the location on this. He goes, buddy, this is a pool. Can't change the location. I said, sir, it's not a pool. It's not a pool. He goes, yeah, this is a share. He goes, you, 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 somebody else is going to come in here now. And I said, well, if somebody else gets in, that's fine. But I'm letting you know this right now. <laughs> I selected the feature where I would just go to the place. It, this is not a situation. So he looks at the phone. And he goes, you're right, Papa. <laughs> I said, okay. So then we call Ben. Ben changes the address. This guy drops me off because I go, I, I don't have a phone. I'm not walking around LA with a MacBook like a psychopath going into different businesses going, can I use your Wi-Fi so I can FaceTime my friend so he can call me a lift? Because that's literally what I would have had to do. Hey, can I get on the Wi-Fi here so I can FaceTime him so I can get a lift back? And does anyone know where Sprint Store is? And we got 10 minutes before Sprint closes. Because Sprint closes, because it's Sunday at 7. And who wants to work? Who needs hours? No one. Not in this country. Everybody's doing good. Nobody needs any overtime here. Not from what I see. Let's shut it down early. 